Rawr. 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 As you can see on the horizon, there is rain clouds going away from us like I told them to fucking do. They actually listened. It's an amazing. I should work for Miss Aaron. afternoon and uh, still think it's a good afternoon to go for a drive so where are we going that direction mountains I love mountains all right let's go a good place to uh, have a quick stop at the old church and they do have coffee here holy grounds <laughs> why not apparently in this church they have a market on I love places like this Ah, great stuff. So this is at a scroll. Lovely little town. Is the mountain I pointed out the other day saying like that looks like a nice mountain I think I'll go there <coughs> just wanted to stop here because like sometimes you get get so fixated on your destination that you forget to stop and look around just popped into this gentleman I came from the mountain and he was lost. He was looking for Castle Bar. That sediment. This way. Must have missed the road sign there. So, but yeah, you have the same idea like me. Just go out and have fun and get lost. Choices. Choices, people. Are we going to, to Mount Doom? Oh, look at that. I 
think we need to go over there, but look at it. Gorgeous. this you cannot possibly say that it's a waste of time going up these roads even if you run out of road and that's that's the thing running out of road that's like the, the, the best thing you can have in Ireland because you're bound to have like views like this I know like a lot of people like to get on the bike and make those big European tours. I'm sure it's great. I mean, it's like, you got to see a lot, but don't forget what you're having at home here. There is so much to see. And I can recommend it to anybody is to get on your bike and maybe you'll have like, have like a, a destination but don't set a time, don't be in a hurry and do not ever hesitate taking a different road because it might look interesting especially little roads like this like look at that, I mean just like you don't get that from the motorway. You don't get that from the national roads. Well, maybe, if you're lucky. And it does mean that you're just like puttering around at maybe 25, 30 kilometers an hour. But who cares? Take the time to drink this all in. Oh Jesus, just stop once in a while. Yeah, this one is for you saddlebags. Here's my gateway. With a view. Asked for you. Like, I was planning like, oh jeez, come on guys, <laughs> will you just stop, look at this, look at it, ha <laughs> ha.
there's a time for making good speed and getting somewhere but this isn't one of those times I will gladly put her around at 30 kilometers or 25 kilometers an hour and you know that's this is I think this is the where the Interceptor 650 shines. I mean, I probably have a little bit more fun on the... Ah, oh, Jesus, it does, it, it never stops. Look at that. Look at that. Oh ah, look, sheep. saying like the Interceptor 650 is really showing its worth to me now and on the classic 500 I'll probably have a little bit more fun navigating these roads but you know when it comes to this exploring stuff the Interceptor 650 is happy enough just to put her around I would say that the classic 500 just gives that little bit more comfort for me in seating position but realistically this is where the interceptor just shines like you pick a destination 75 kilometers away and you can get there pretty quickly and then you can just like switch over to these roads and just gently put her around because it does have the torque and thanks to the fuel x mod that i have it really spins happily between the 2,000, 3,000 RPM. I mean, you can even make it dip below that. But... Christ. <laughs> Look at that. I swear to you, I cannot finish a thought. <clears throat> and it's fine. It's, it's absolutely fine. I mean, especially... <clears throat> if you ever find yourself in a bit of a rut where, you know, you can't stop your brain and your your brain keeps pulling you back into a like, kind of negativity and, and shite, uh, this is what you need. This is, this. these are brain stoppers right here. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, <laughs> I was saying, I was thinking like I would like get like, some nice footage maybe for a video too but man it's like I'm just gonna leave the GoPro running until it runs out of battery and then I change the battery and let that run out because every turn every twist every breathtaking breathtaking Look at that. Ah. 
This is it, man. This is the life. This is... You know, people say when they retire, they want to, like, go to Spain or go to somewhere sunny and... You know what will make me happy? If I get to the age that I actually can retire. If I just have enough to get out and see all this. I'd be a happy man. I swear I'm going to be needing to book a bed and breakfast around here because like the amount of times I'm stopping here. I should have brought a tent. Huh. Look at that. Hey.
Ah, a little view of mountains. A cup of tea. We're all good. <coughs> It is sharing moments like this with you that makes it all worthwhile. Later on I will show you how to make fart noises with <laughs> I'm here trying to have like a romantic moment with my wife. May I introduce <laughs> my wife? <laughs> you see that mountain in the distance? Do you know what it reminds me of? Me boob. No, your knickers. <laughs> You don't realize how big they are until you get up close. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I hear. I hear. You want to talk about fat jokes? For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs>